Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to run uh, finite element CBish analysis inside slide two. To activate the CBish analysis in slide, we go to analysis, project settings, and then groundwater, and we choose steady state finite element analysis. That's it. So now we activate the finite element analysis, analysis inside slide. And we have a new tab here, it says steady state groundwater. The material, the material property for this slope, it's just one material. The shear strength, it's defined in terms of more column. The cohesion is zero. The friction angle is 31. The hydric, the hydraulic property of this material, we can go to the next tab here and click on, right click on the model and then choose hydraulic property. Or we can go to the property and choose define hydraulic property for this material. For this example, I'm just going to use symbol by defining the, the permeability coefficient or the hydraulic property for this material, which is uh, 1 E minus 7. And the soil type, I'm just going to keep it general. Click OK. So we defined the hydraulic property, we defined the shear strength of the material. Now we need to generate our finite element mesh. We can do that by going to the mesh setup. One click here. And we see that we have 1,500 elements. To see that and how it looks like, we can click on discrete and then mesh. And we see here our mesh now. We can make, we can make it uh, finer than that. It looks like coarse. We can double the size and see how it looks like so this looks reasonable for now just gonna click OK so now we defined or we assigned the finite element mesh now we still need to define the CBish boundary conditions to do that we can go to this icon here set boundary condition click on it I'm gonna use total head to define the boundary condition here and here so I'm going to assign 40 total head here and here, or 32, I'm sorry, 32 here, and 40 in the right side. So as we know, the total, the CB is going to go from higher total head to lower total head and we can let the software define the ferretic surface okay so that's it we're done from uh, the CBish tab and the slope stability tab we can run the analysis now before we do that let's check the method of calculating the factor of safety if we go to the methods here I'm just gonna choose the general limit equilibrium Morgan Star Price and Spencer just two methods click OK save and let's give a surface some depth by going to here surface option and filter minimum depth I'm gonna give it 10 meters click OK and then run so it's gonna run for both actually for stability analysis and the seabish analysis and we can get the ferritic surface and the estimation of the factor of safety so the analysis is done we click on interpret to see the results Let's give it a few seconds. That's thinking. The analysis is done. It's not going to take too much time because we only have one scenario, very simple scenario. So now it's calculating the factor of safety for two methods and also at the same time running the CBish analysis the finite element CBish analysis
so now now we are seeing the pour water pressure this color here the purple line actually let me show, show you what I mean auto range apply so you see this purple line this is actually the ferritic surface so the water is going from this side to this side we can assign um, flow lines okay to see how the water is going so we can see the direction of the flow this is the arrows here which represent the flow directions okay let me make this bigger a little bit a factor of safety so we have 1.2 factor of safety and this is the shape of the slip surface and the green color here okay we can modify the flow by assigning zero so we have negative here pore pressure we can make it zero and this is all, everything will be gone above the ferritic surface you see here so it starts from zero so this is in terms of pore pressure we can see it as a total head so this is higher total head in the blue and here is lower total head we can see it in pressure head as well or bore water pressure we can show the material property we can show also the hydraulic material property and we can show the factor of safety methods that we used in this analysis we can move this actually you can put it anywhere you want okay so another thing I want to show you we can get the pore water pressure anywhere within the model by going to this tab add material query and click here done and then um, query value and we can see this is actually the value of the pore pressure on in this point specifically okay we can add a uh, iso line you can see the iso line for this line is 150 okay we can add curie line graph material curie so there are too many options actually you can discover it and also if we go to label contours we can just click anywhere to get the value of the pore pressure or uh, total head whatever value you are interested in you can show it on the map okay so that's it actually it's a very helpful and useful uh, tool inside the slide so you can see you can define the ferritic surface and also uh, run a seabish analysis finite element seabish analysis in slide two so slide two actually it's limited equilibrium to calculate the factor of safety but you can also run finite element inside the slide to to run seabage analysis rs2 is uh, also the same thing you can run finite element seabage analysis but it is uh, it's it you can also calculate the factor of safety in terms of shear strength reduction uh, method to estimate the factor of safety 
but it is not climate equilibrium it's finite elements but here in slide two we are working on uh, limit equilibrium stability analysis to calculate the factor of safety using the slice methods uh, later i will show you uh, how to calculate the factor of safety in rs2 using the shear strength reduction method thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks bye